Hello everybody, what's happening, what's happening? Good news, good news, we start with good news. I ended up the last video on a little bit of a low, but good news, the weather here in Scotland, on the West Coast, for the last week, been great. It's been dry, it's been sunny, we even had crikey temperatures almost in double figures, so I've been using the Basta. I've done a few bits and pieces, small things really that i think they made a decent difference but small things really we're still very much in lockdown here so so big changes aren't going to happen but i've tried to tidy the car up with a few bits and bobs so we'll jump outside and we'll have a look at those then we'll go for a drive because it's another nice day a drive because <laughs> uh, it's another nice day and i've been using the car this week i've even taken it to work a couple of times and there's a couple of things that have cropped up and um I've splashed some cash. I bought the sound bar for my camera for the GoPro. So I'm in I'm intrigued. Some of the sound hasn't been great. A few people have mentioned that to me. It's a bit hit and miss. Some of the some of it's good, some of it's bad. So I'm trying to make it a little bit more consistent. So we'll try, we'll try this. <laughs> Now I find a car great off the line. It, it's obviously, it's physics, it's mechanics, help that. Lightweight, rear wheel drive as you accelerate, weight change, distribution goes to the rear and it'll ping off the line and second gear will pull quite hard as well. I reckon it's got quite a good 0 to 60 this time, this car. But I reckon it's 0 to 100 is terrible because then you go for third gear and third gear is dead. It's absolutely flat annoyingly so i mean i know it's not blessed with masses of torque and masses of horsepower but it just seems to go second great you're going along all right and then you hit third and it just dies to death you get to fourth it starts to come back on song again and fits a strong gear i was surprised fits is a strong gear perhaps maybe the, the lightweight the aerodynamics help as the revs get higher and the speed gets a little bit higher so I was going to try and demonstrate it, but I'm not, I'm not sure how easy that's going to be, to be honest. Um, I'm just keeping it at a low speed now. and I mean, that's fourth gear. Car's picking up nicely, even going up uphill. But if I drop it to third gear, it just picks up noise. So, third gear, and it likes revs, this car. That is a good thing. I do enjoy driving like that. But third gear... Going to fourth, and we start picking up speed now, which is great. So, when we do eventually get allowed back out and about, and we're going to start tuning things, the suspension we've talked about it before, I need to speak to Paul at Rodison about getting some mid range. I need to get some third gear pull because it just doesn't, it just, it, it's the gear that lets it down, and you'd hope. That it would be the gear that allows you to push on. Again, a little bit more comfortable with the handling of the car. The we mentioned before, quite a tricky corner that, and the car just digs in. It's nice. I mentioned before that it does handle well. It's very stable, but it does it does move. Change of direction. It it does move a little bit. Oh, the road's wet here. We'll just steady, steady does move a little bit so <laughs> that was good that was good just keep a little bit of throttle on a little bit of throttle on and the diff just does its thing a bit more mid-range a bit more third gear we need to claw back some of that 20 horsepower that we're down in the mid-range some of the torque we need to claw that back and also, we need to put the uprated springs on just to get rid of, just to reduce, just to reduce the body roll. I think it'll just inspire a little bit more confidence doing that. I think it'll inspire a little bit more confidence. So, because as the car moves around, don't get me wrong, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel un, it doesn't feel unbalanced. It doesn't feel like it's gonna suddenly let go on you. It just, it just. You're just mindful that the car is is leaning. Perhaps that's quite good from a from a don't go any further, don't push on any harder point of view. But but I want to get I want to eradicate that on acceleration, on deceleration, and on, on, on uh, 
change of direction, I need to reduce the amount of body roll this car has. You do feel very involved in the gear change. I mean, I love a manual gearbox. I just love changing gear. I don't know why. I'm probably from that generation that just thinks automatics are the, the devil's work, but the gearbox in this, you can change so quick. It's a short throw, and it just feels lovely. Absolutely lovely. So, there's many reasons for buying this car, and this is a very good one. This is a, this is a very good one. I think also the fact that you can have all this fun and you're not threatening any license, you're not upsetting anybody because of the way you're driving. You can really attack a corner. And it just pins itself to the road. Brakes are excellent as well, really strong the brakes, really strong. So, the roof is down, the heating's on, everybody's moving off so we'll go straight on and we'll use a little bit of rest because the road ahead is clear. So, third gear. The view forward is fine, very small, very small A pillar, so you, you don't, they're, they're not in your peripheral, that's quite good, you can see around here. The rear, you can see between the um, between the headrest, but the, uh, the bus just is where I guess is that would be a B pillar or a C pillar in a normal car, that is a blind spot, you do rely on your windows. I can, I can see why this car has blind spot monitoring, because on the motorways, on dual carriageways, that is that is just a dead area. So it was a good thing that they put that in. A bad thing that it's got the lane departure warning. That's a bad thing completely in any car. I do not like it. If you've got a driving license and you can't keep your car in the lane, please hand your driving license back in. Another thing, which is demonstrated nicely here, this car doesn't have stop start. Stop start? Stop start. This. Another good thing about this car, no stop start. Don't like stop start. There you go. The roof will do its thing up to six miles an hour. 